uh, <coughs> in this video we are going to describe the main parts of the human eye and we will explain the focusing action or how the focus is taking place so first you have to know what is human eye so it is, it is the most valuable and sensitive sense organ so it is a remarkable optical instrument you can say so now we we'll study the structure of the human eye so you can see the diagram here so first we'll start from the from cornea so you can see here this is called the cornea this one is cornea this is the cornea on layer you can find out that this layer is known as the cornea so light enters the eye through a thin membrane called cornea which covers the transparent bulge on the front portion of the eyeball so this is the eyeball so it is covering the front portion of the eyeball so that is known as the cornea next one is iris this is the iris so behind the cornea there is an opaque circular diaphragm called iris the color of the iris determines the color of the eyes of a person the iris has the central hole is known as pupil so this is called the pupil due to its muscular action the iris controls the size of the pupil and hence regulates the amount of light entering the eye the bright light in the bright light what will happen the pupil will become small and in the dark light or dim light you can say the pupil opens up completely through the relaxation of the iris so that is why suppose you are playing outside in a uh, sunny day and uh, if you enter into the room a dark room suddenly or a normal room so you will not be able to see so many you will see something because you will see everything is completely dark because as you are playing outside in a sunny day so your pupil was uh, contracted it was pupil was size of the pupil was small because you are working in a sunny sunny day the more amount of light was outside the pupil was controlling the light uh, becoming itself very small so now when he'll enter into the room what will happen all of a sudden the pupil will not be able to expand so it will take some time so that is why all of a sudden you will see the darkness but after some time if you remain in the room for 5 to 10 minutes then again you will able to see the all the things because slowly slowly the pupil will become the become enlarged and you will be able to see the things now next one is very important part that is called the eye lens or you can say the crystalline lens so it is a double convex lens situated behind the iris it composed of uh, jelly like materials so lens is uh, held in position by some suspensory ligaments and connected to the uh, by the ciliary muscles so these are all the ciliary muscles so lens will be uh, connected to this and by contraction contracting or relaxing the ciliary muscles uh, the change the shape or the curvature of the eye lens and hence changes its focal length so this ability of the eye lens to change its focal length is known as the accommodation so question comes often so what is accommodation so you have to write that one so the ability of the eye lens to change its focal length is known or is called accommodation okay this enables the eye lens to focus the image of the object at different distance on the um, retina of the eye okay so next one will come to the retina so this is called the retina this outside there is one layer you can see so it is a delicate inner membranes on the back wall of the eyeball so it contains light sensitive cells called the rod cells and cone cells so rods are sensitive to the intensity of light while the cones are sensitive to the colors so this cells changes the light energy into the electrical signal or you can say electrical energy which sends messages to the brain via optic nerves you can see there is optic nerves so here the image will convert into electrical signals and then it will be carried to the brain through the optic nerves 
Now next one is what is the blind spot or the yellow spot. I have not mentioned in this diagram. I will tell you. So uh, first you know the blind spot. So in the region where the optic nerves enters the eyeball. So this is the region where the optic nerves enters the eyeball. There is no rod cells and cone cells are there. So this region is totally uh, insensitive of the to the to the totally insensitive to the lights. So that is they are called the this point is known as the blind spot and the yellow spot exactly in the behind this this portion so this is known as the yellow spot so yellow spot has a maximum concentration of light sensitive sensitive cells so it is, it is situated at the uh, center of the retina okay so that is the thing now aqueous humor and the vitreous humor so this is known as the aqueous humor this is the aqueous humor this portion aqueous humor and this this portion this is known as the vitreous humor so you can see the diagram is written <coughs> So aqueous humor is a salty fluids whose refractive index will be uh, the refractive index n you can write n will be equal to 1.337 okay and um, the fields the space between the cornea and the eye lens so this is the portion and the vitreous humor is the jelly like fluid a refractive index will be here n is equal to uh, 1.437 okay. So the same like um, the refractive index of the glass uh, that fills the space between the retina and the eye lens. So this thing, type of things will help to uh, the vitreous humor will uh, humor will fill the space between the retina and the eye lens. So what are the main purpose of this one? This is a like uh, transparent medium and uh, transparent thing, and it will help to keep the eyeball spherical in shape. And also you can see the entire eye, entire eye. Uh, is also looking like a big convex lens with this this and this now we'll learn about the focusing action of the eye so what's happened uh, the transparent structure like uh, cornea this is also having a transparent structure cornea aqueous humor eye lens and the vitreous humor so together is constitute a single converging lens as we were discussing so this single converging lens so as the ray from the object enter into the eye, suppose there is an object here, as the ray of the object enter into the eye, so it will get converged uh, through the refraction. The refraction will take place, so through the successive, uh, like passing successively through the uh, structure, it get converged. And a real and inverted image is formed on the retina. So what is the meaning of real and inverted image? Suppose if I see the object in this uh, here like this way, so inverted image will form in this retina. Okay, uh, the light sensitive cells of the retina will get activated uh, when the image will form and generated the electrical signals and are sent to the brain through the optic nerves. So now what are the what type of images forming there? The inverted image is forming. So now our brain will translate the inverted image into a erect image. So automatically the brain will translate into a erect image. So we'll see the object normally. <coughs> so this is the basic structure of the human eye. What I discussed, all the points. Now you have to practice the uh, diagram of the structure of the human eye. Now I'll discuss some questions which are already mentioned here, already discussed here. So what is the function of the pupil in the human eye? So the pupil will control the amount of uh, amount the of light entering the eye. So what is the function of the iris? It controls the size of the pupil and hence it regulates the amount of light entering the eye. Now next question is the color of which part determines the color of the eyes of any person so answer will be iris now next question is that name the light sensitive cells present in the retina of the eye answer is rod cells and cone cells next question is which cells of the retina are responsible for the black and white visions so that is called the rod cells so now next one is the name the shape of the light sensitive cell uh, of the retina which responds to the colors so answer will be cone shaped cell cells or the cone uh, cone cells you can say the shape will be like cone shaped so which nerves uh, next question which nerves connects the light sensitive cells to the retina 
uh, to the brain so very easy question this one this is the optic nerves now uh, what is the blind spot i told you the region of the uh, retina where the optic nerves enters the eye is known as the blind spot next question is why is the blind spot spot totally insensitive of light because uh, answer will be because there is no rod or cone cells are present in the region of the blind spot so then what is the yellow spot so it is the region in the uh, center of the retina which has a maximum concentration of rods and cone cells so uh, today is up to this so next class we'll discuss about uh, more questions more new things so thank you very much